on YouTube. So coming back today, I've got my next top 10. So yesterday I did my top 10 most valuable sports franchises. And today I wanted to tailor back more towards college football, NFL, that sort of thing. And do my top 10 players to watch at the NFL Draft Combine. So the list of Combine invitees was just announced a few days ago. And I, I basically wanted to do a video kind of around that. So I'm going to do my top 10 NFL or top 10 players to watch at the NFL Combine. So let's go ahead and start at number 10. And I've got the tight end out of Western Kentucky, and that is Tyler Higby. So Tyler Higby is one of the more intriguing t or tight end prospects in this draft to me. It's a very thin tight end class with one player sitting at the top and then really just a big drop-off after that, but I think Tyler Higby is one of the guys that can rise very quickly in this class. I think uh, there's a few teams with tight end needs, and there's I think the, that the draft stock's going to be shaken up a lot after Hunter Henry. And Tyler Higby is a bigger guy. He's a good wide receiver, or he's a good uh, receiving threat, especially compared to the rest of the tight ends in this draft. Like I said, it'll be interesting to see, especially since he did not get a whole lot of exposure in college, to see what happens with him at the draft combine. So move on to number nine, and I've got the wide receiver out of Rutgers, Leontay Carew. So Leontay Carew is a guy that has even got some first-round draft speculation. I think that this combine's a big make-or-break deal for him with his draft stock. If he's able to have a good combine, so he's got a good 40-time, good hands, he's obviously very athletic, then he can maybe solidify that first-round, maybe early second-round status. So move on to number eight. I've got the running back out of Arkansas, Alex Collins. So Alex Collins to me is a guy that's been extremely solid while he was at Arkansas. He was a very durable back for them. Missed a little bit of time because of injury, but not that much. He had a whole lot of action this year. Jonathan Williams pretty much missed the entire year. He was supposed to be the two part of that one-two punch with Jonathan Williams and Alex Collins, obviously. So I think he's going to prove his worth here, mainly his strength, his power, and the fact that he's still a little bit shifty and has quite a bit of speed for his size as well. So move on to number seven, and I've got the quarterback out of Louisiana Tech, Jeff Driscoll. Now here's why Jeff Driscoll is intriguing to me. Obviously was not successful at Florida. He was recruited as a five-star prospect, I want to say back in 2012, might have been 2011. And, really, like I said, really never panned out at Florida. Ended up transferring over to Louisiana Tech and actually had a pretty good season. I think he's still got that five-star talent there. I just want to see if it's actually going to show through, if he can prove that you know, he actually is improving now, that this season of improving wasn't just because he was playing against lesser competition, that it was actually because you know he's actually regained some of that confidence and talent is starting to come back. So... Move on to number six. I've got the defensive tackle out of Mississippi State, and that is Chris Jones. So Chris Jones, or Chris Jones's draft stock has really gone up and down since the Senior Bowl. Now, I wouldn't really say down, but he's been one of the more intriguing prospects in this draft. He is a guy that has proven to be a little bit more athletic, a little bit better than a lot of people noticed while he was playing at Mississippi State. Maybe he wasn't the most noticeable player on that team. So, I think that through the combine, he can show that he is one of the more athletic defensive tackles in this draft, and maybe bring his draft stock up to around maybe maybe even a late first round pick, but I'd say second or third round pick. So at number five, I've got the safety out of West Virginia, Carl Joseph. So Carl Joseph is a guy that had his season ended early because of I want to say a torn ACL. I can't remember, it was something torn in his knee. And had a very, very good season going up until then. I believe he had five five or six interceptions through three games. And was really leading what looked like a very dominant, good West Virginia defense. And when he went down, it seemed like it took a lot of the life out of the West Virginia team. And I still think... I still think that... Like I said, there's still a lot of talent left there. I think there's a lot of talent, a lot of work ethic, a lot of heart left. I think he could actually come back better than... He was to, or he was before the injury. Obviously, the injury hurt his draft stock quite a bit. It is a safety spot that is a little bit shaky right now. Uh, there's not really a clear cut number one. Darian Thompson, Von Bell, and Jeremy Cash have kind of all been duking it out for that top safety spot. 
and I'm not going to say Carl Joseph could own that top safety spot, but I think he could move himself into being a top five, uh, top five safety pick in this draft. So move on to number four, and I got a guy whose draft stock has grown enormously since the Senior Bowl, and that is the defensive end out of Eastern Kentucky, Noah Spence. So to me, I've been a little bit reluctant to give credit to Noah Spence. Obviously, he's shown to have extremely good athleticism, quickness off the edge, and he would fit in well with a lot of 3-4 schemes in the NFL. Now, I think it's going to be very important since, we, since really the only great exposure he's had in the last six months is the Senior Bowl for this combine to be huge. Um, for him to solidify that first-round draft status, he's got to be able to have a good combine showcase that same athletic ability he showcased in the senior bowl so move on to number three i've got the wide receiver out of arizona state dj foster so coming into the year dj foster was mentioned as one of the bigger threats at wide receiver in college football uh, kind of had a rough season arizona state had a rough season as a whole Barry Cavici really didn't live up to the hype he didn't have a terrible year but didn't have a great year arizona state was hyped up to be a top 20 team and finished i believe it was it was either 7-6 and six or 6-7. Six and seven. Uh, They lost to West Virginia in their bowl game, and I think that hurt DJ Foster a little bit. And like I said, I think this is a guy that's still incredibly fast, still has that same big playability, can still be utilized as a wide receiver or a running back, and I think that that amount of utilization, that, am that amount of versatility in a player can really raise your draft stock and find you a true purpose with an NFL team. So moving on to number two, I've got the quarterback out of TCU, Trevon Boykin. So I don't think anyone's draft stock's been hurt at quarterback in the last maybe two months more than Trevon Boykin. Before the Alamo Bowl, he had that, uh, I believe it was assaulting a, or assault charge, I believe assaulting a cop. Might not have been assaulting a cop, but I think it was an assault charge. And did not, like I said, did not play in the Alamo Bowl, and really, really, really hurt his draft stock. Now he ran into a little bit of injury problems this year as well at the end of the season, and well, a guy that I think could have been maybe a late, late, not 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 extremely late, maybe a fourth to seventh round pick, is now probably looking at it being an undrafted free agent or maybe having to switch positions. Now, Teron Boykins obviously got the athleticism to fit in, probably at either wide receiver or being a dual-threat quarterback. I still believe he's a gen genuinely one of the best quarterbacks in this, one of the most talented quarterbacks in this draft. Might not translate well to the NFL when you're talking about a pro-style QB, but we're talking about a guy who was considered the best player in college football for quite a bit this year. And I think that this draft combine is obviously going to have to really going to have to showcase his ability to play quarterback and show how well it's going to translate to the NFL level. So move on to number one, and I've got the running back out of Louisiana Tech, Kenneth Dixon. So there's been a lot of talk about Kenneth, Di Kenneth Dixon ever since the Senior Bowl. This is a guy that put up some monster stats in college and it really got a whole lot of talk until the end of the season about being drafted. And this is a guy that has got good size. I believe he's around 5'10". He's got good speed. He's a durable back. He's good out of the backfield catching the ball. And I believe he's actually pretty good at blocking as well. This is a guy that could actually be a second or third round pick if he shows that if he shows that he can you know, prove that versatility in the NFL Combine if he can show just that overall athleticism. And to me, obviously since he didn't go to a Power 5 school, same thing with some of the other guys I mentioned on this list. I think that the draft combine will be good exposure for him to prove himself. All right, so that concludes my top 10 list of draft combine invitees to watch. And like I said, I think the draft combine, while I probably won't watch every single second of it, I'll definitely look at the notes um, and probably do my next edition of my mock draft after it's over. But yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. If you have not checked out things like my last mock draft and my big boards, definitely go check those out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay up. If you haven't gone and checked that out yet and you still want to check it out, I'm going to put the link in the description below as well as in the outro. 
So today I wanted to do, like I said, 2.0, kind of my post-Super Bowl mock draft. And it obviously did change up a little bit. We've had the Senior Bowl since then. Obviously, a couple things have changed with...